This device looks very similar to the flow meter that I recently took to bits, but apparently it's a little micro hydro water turbine. So um, this came from eBay, where else, and cost a grand total of £7.9p. And, and they claim it's a 5 volt DC generator, 10 watts. Um, and in the technical specs, actually it says DC 5 volt DC generator, 10 watt micro hydro water turbine generator water, 10 watts, 12 volts. 12 volts? Okay. It does have a 5 written on it, so that may actually indicate it's 5 volts. Well, the seller of this was H A R U Y R understroke K B. Not an easy name. Not an easy name to remember, but they seem to sell mainly technical stuff. The output voltage five volts between the wire resistance ten point five ohms between the wire resistance. Insulation resistance ten mega ohms. Why would you do an insulation test on on a five volt device? The maximum pressure point, 6 megapascals, outlet closed. Now that works out at 80 pound, 87 pounds a square inch. The outlet op operating opening maximum pressure, thats I guess that's the pressure if it's just blowing through, um, is about double that. So probably about 160 pounds a square inch, which seems huge. That sounds ridiculous, actually. Start pressure, 0 0.05 megapascals, which worked out at seven pounds a square inch. Not sure how that equates to, actually. I'll tell you what, I'll blow into it. That's, that's one way to find out. Oh, it's not hard to start. Um, and the rest is pretty vague. Generator life greater than 3,000 hours. Hmm, OK, let's open it. Oops. Oh, they turn very easily. Because there's nuts and bolts. That makes a change from the self-tappers. So, I don't know, I'm guessing if they're saying it's 5 volt, it might be regulated. I don't know if that just means that it's a little generator that um, can do round about 5 volts. I guess we'll find out when we open it. Oh, quite a complex little circuit board. There's what looks a bit like a um, computer fan motor in here. And it's got three wires coming off it. Going to the middle of what looks like a six diode array, which would suggest uh, basically a full wave for three phase winding in a motor. There's a little chip type thing, and maybe a transistor or regulator. Oh, I can feel that. Uh, that's quite a powerful magnetic sensation. It really drags itself in when you uh, put it on. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave that on, I think. Oop, rubber seal popping about. Right, let's take a look at this circuit board. Where's my little microscope? Let's look at the big one first. Oh, that was easy. 78LO5. It's a 5 volt regulator. I wouldn't normally associate 78LO5 with anything more than about 100 milliamps. Hmm, what's this other wee chip? It's an LTH7, which is a code for a chip that I think is a lithium battery charger. Lithium... Oh, it's got two terminals for a battery as well. 
Oh, that's odd. Unless this is... I don't actually know. Maybe it's available in a version that just does. Oh, and it's got LEDs on board as well. What earth? Is this out of another application, this thing? Well, I can see one LED, which would suggest that it's uh, the battery charging LED. I'm not 100% sure. It's not. Maybe they do a version of this that just charges a lithium battery directly. Oh, I can make it light if you spin it. See it lighting? I'll hold it up till it's uh, darker. Oh, that's interesting. So it doesn't take a huge speed to actually start generating a good few volts. So maybe this is just a multifunctional unit where it's rectified. Um, this capacitor probably smooths it, and then there's a 5 volt regulator for putting 5 volts out. Um, and then the option of actually having maybe that 5 volts then feed over to this chip or even feed the chip directly. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure what these two diodes are for. Unless they're beefy zeners for clipping or... I don't really know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting little device. I since uh, found out uh, that uh, there's another version you can get which is much bigger and puts out about 8 to 14 volts or something like that, but it looks as though it's basically a, a got an actual turbine blade and a motor on it, and it's not that much more expensive, so I might actually get one of them as well. Um, but in the meantime, this is certainly worth uh, playing about with. It also makes me think, you, if you... Consider it, your water comes into the house, and every time you turn on a tap, there's one central cold water tap, uh, water pipe that feeds the house. If you put a small turbine in that, then every time you flush the toilet, ran the sink, used the washing machine, anything like that, um, it would effectively, the water flow would then generate power. Um, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, I'm going all preppery here, but you know, it's, a, it's just quite an interesting concept, the idea of having um, an alternative source of power just to provide uh, energy. The idea of, uh, about getting these, my brother has a river at the bottom of his garden, and it's got a small waterfall, it's not really huge, it's only a couple of feet drop, but I was wondering, uh, am I going to be able to get, um, am I going to be able to get enough flow to actually get any type of turbine to just generate enough power for decorative lighting. And one of the things I thought of was, um, where's the pen? If that was the drop in the riverbed and the water's flowing over there, if you had a device to catch it, but then you had the turbine mounted virtually right there, usually the water has to drop so it's traveling at high speed. But what is an alternative if you then, because that river slopes downhill, what if you then put a hose that just travelled downhill? Surely the speed of water flowing in that hose would then basically accelerate the water being sucked in at the top. I'm not 100% sure, because I would expect the water would be exiting at the same velocity as it was um, entering a hose, so surely you could probably get the same sort of level of turbine generation at the top. I like the idea of an illuminated waterfall particularly powered by the water, it would be quite neat. But anyway, maybe I'll just have to experiment.